Sorry, Akile. Uh, welcome to your new home, uh, to OFS. I hope you had a great season. Uh, before we get into the season, uh, the summer was uh, quite busy for you with the Italian national team. And one of the biggest upsets of the tournament was against Serbia uh, when you were guys winning. Uh, have you had any chat with Vasa about that win when you came to Istanbul? No, like you said, uh, it was a, was a nice uh, summer. Busy, but uh, very nice. It was a great uh, Eurobasket for us. And uh, I remember after the game, we were in the same hotel with Vaza. And uh, he was chilling with friends uh, after dinner. And uh, I was with my friend. I was about to, to go out for dinner with my team. And uh, he asked me, let's go celebrate tonight because you deserve it. So uh -huh. this is what I remember. You already have a great teammate <laughs> after you and get that answer. Uh, before coming to FS, I would like to ask you about the Spanish League Championship in Basconia because it was one of the biggest fairy tales of the recent seasons in European basketball. I recall the moments uh, when the game is over, you start running yeah. toward the, the roof, like uh, in the empty seats. How do you recall that moment, that uh, seconds uh, when you look back? From it here? was a it was a strange moment because uh, it was during the coronavirus, so mm -hmm. we had. Uh, I think we uh, we were the only league mm -hmm. in Europe that uh, we keep practicing and we finish the season in a different way, but we finish the season in the bubble sure. in Valencia. And, uh, and nothing, I was... Uh, <laughs> after three three finals that I lost in Italy, mm -hmm. this was my my fourth one. And I, after the win, I, say I had to celebrate. I don't know in which way, but the first thing that... Uh, uh, I wanted to do it. I was running uh, <laughs> to celebrate something also without people in, in the room. <laughs> it was a blackout like you were just right. <laughs> Fantastic. This summer, uh, there was a uh, huge news when you got a phone call from Ataman and you said that you were kind of surprised here and uh, he is talking Italian. Did you at first maybe think about is it a prank? You know, he's telling that he's Ataman but he's talking Italian. Was it kind of a surprise for you? No, I, I, I knew that. Uh, he spoke Italian because mm. he was in Italy sure. for a long time and uh, when he got a chance he liked to go in Italy because uh, he liked Italy. So I knew that he was speaking in Ita Italian but uh, I, I didn't imagine that he was speaking so good. So I congratulate with him because he speaks very good. Fantastic. What was the chat about? Uh, did you have a chance to talk about your possible role before uh, agreeing the terminus? Yeah, he told me that I, I will be uh, like uh, an important player for, uh, for FS and uh, he told me about the, the goal of the team mm -hmm. and uh, the goal of the team is uh, try to win another uh, Euroleague and uh, I think so he convinced me to come here. Fantastic. Uh, when you think about the possible role at this team because there's huge talent uh, with the roster like Shane, like Wasa, like Will Clyburn, there will be too many uh, players wanting the ball in their hands and the offense let's say. Do you think you will mesh uh, good with them and the offense because everyone is you know kind of asking the ball to hit the shots so how do you think you will uh, find the chance to mesh with the, all the talent in here? We have a lot of talent players like you said and uh, I think we will find a way for sure because uh, we are also experienced players, so we know how to play, we know how to to manage uh, like uh, the game in a special moment mm -hmm. of the game, especially at the end of the game. Mm -hmm. So I'm here to help my teammates, uh, to help my staff to win the game. So I will uh, I will do it when uh, whatever they want, and whatever they need. Uh, in Coach Ottoman's teams in the last decade, there was always uh, great shooters at the uh, number four position, like the Zoran Ersek, when he's got us right years, uh, Adrian Moerman in here also in the previous years. So you kind of on paper uh, look very well on this role. Uh, have you specifically talk about this role when you uh, chat with Coach Ottoman? About yeah, shooting from perimeter all I the time. Told, I thought to, to him also about this mm -hmm. and uh, he. I think like uh, my my way to play, my my way to put energy and intensity on the, on the court, uh, to run fast break, to to be always in, in move, uh, be active on the court, in offense and in defense. So this is why I'm here. Um, you have worked with uh, Gianmarco Pozzecco, both in Sassari and also in national team. He is one of the let's say craziest guy uh, on the bench in the European basketball. Also, Coach Ataman is let's say a bit unique, you know, between the other peers. So, how do you compare these two coaches, uh, let's say, off the court characters? Uh, I don't know Coach Ataman uh, so good because it's just one week that I'm here, but I know very good Pozzecco and I know that uh, he's, uh, he can he can be like 
crazy <laughs> at, the, at the eyes of uh, people that uh, doesn't know him, but he's a great guy and uh, he was very important for us this summer because uh, he gave it to us like a lot of confidence, a lot of uh, positive things, uh, a lot of uh, motivation also to play with compete, uh, to compete with everybody, yeah. and uh, this this was make difference for us. In the Euroleague, the last repeat we have seen was at the end of the 80s, uh, the Hugo Plastica team. And uh, with this roster, with all the talents uh, in here, you have a chance to become the next team after like 30 years to achieve this. Does it create any extra pressure or is it more of a motivation for you? I think it's motivation for us. And uh, okay, it can be also pressure, but uh, if you have pressure, if you feel the pressure, it means that you are in a great place uh, and uh, you have a great team. So. It's a good pressure for us. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, and finally, you have spent the last season with Fenerbahce in Istanbul. So what location of the city you love the most uh, in the last 12 months? Do you have a favorite part in the city? First of all, I think uh, Istanbul is uh, one of the best cities in the world. So yeah. Asian side, European side, they are beautiful mm -hmm. both. And uh, I think my favorite place is uh, close to Bosphorus, uh, basic task place is, uh, yes. There are more things to visit also when my family or my friends will come uh, and they came in Istanbul, uh, I would like to go there. In one of your previous interviews, I read that you are kind of an admirer of Scotty people and that's why you wear the, uh, the three numbers. So how do you explain the connection in their mentality, both in people's and your place mentality to sacrifice, to play for your teammates? Uh, what are the things you see as an example, as a, let's say, motivator for your game? I think uh, he was one important player for Chicago, mm -hmm. but uh, he was not the main player because he was uh, Michael Jordan. Mm -hmm. So also it can compare also to me because uh, I, I'm not maybe the main player here in, in uh, Anadolu FS. I was not main player in other teams, but. Uh, I'm an important player and I can do whatever I want, uh, whatever the coach and the players need to me. So I'm, a, I'm here to help uh, my team and my teammates to play better. I hope just like the Chicago teams, FS will create a dynasty for the upcoming years as well. Thank you, Akil, and welcome Thank again you so much. to the FS. Thank you so much.